Hello, Trisha Morris here at Club Scrap. Welcome to everyone who is here to learn more about what is shipping from Club Scrap, our Nina warehouse here in Wisconsin. Starting next week, I believe shipping day is Monday. We are very excited. We are prepared. The kits are boxed up and in the warehouse, which is that way, and are ready to leave the building. So I hope you have a box with your name on it. It's very exciting times. I see Julie's timing in here. Julie works at Club Scrap, but not in this building and not even in this state. She is a longtime member and a longtime employee. I see Jane is watching. She is also in the warehouse. I'm sure Karen is just down the hall over here. One of these days, I'm just going to give you a little walk around tour so you can say hi to everybody in the building so you can just see kind of what it's like other than just being in my office here. Um, oh, yeah, there Karen is chiming in. Hi, Anne. Good to see you here. Anne is a very prolific card maker, and she is a pro at turning all of our page kits into like literally hundreds of cards. It's really amazing to watch. Oh, lots of my friends are chiming in here. If this is your first time here, please let us know you're new. If you're maybe a new member of Club Scrap, let us know that as well. And maybe you've learned about us at the Crop on the Cape out in Cape Cod. So if that's you, please tell us that you found us here and um otherwise tell us where you're from and if you're watching the replay don't you know don't be afraid to chime in as well we love those comments coming in just put hashtag replay and ooh, deb thinks she's gonna have a large box well i hope so we do have big boxes we can or we can do multiple boxes you know whatever's necessary we're happy to make it happen so maybe you are someone who just gets to the page kit or just the card kit this might be a month you'd want to try both you just never know you might really really like it in fact the cards are so much fun this month i can't wait to show you those so i will start out here's the agenda i'll start out with showing you the page kit and then i'll move on to the card kit and the stamps pops and card samples and then I have a really fun little workshop surprise for you as well that I want to tell you all about. And that's going to be coming up at the end of April. So stay tuned to the end to find out what our new workshop is. I can't wait to show you. It's really, really cool. So I see we have a nice group gathering in here. I don't want to get started too soon because it takes a second for everyone to, you know, drop what they're doing and grab their lunch. If you're, you know, here in Wisconsin, it's noon and it's lunchtime. Oh, from Texas too. It's probably lunchtime for you as well, Linda. Teeny Burnett's popping in. I see a lot of really familiar names. It's so good to have you here. And um, okay, well, I will tell you last night while I was sleeping, I was think must have been thinking about this when I went to bed because I had this terrible dream that I got up early to prepare for the event and I sat down in a chair and I fell sound asleep. And then I, when I woke up, it was 12, 18 and I was 18 minutes late for my own life. <laughs> So I'm really thankful I made it here on time at noon central. Here we are. Okay, I'm going to flip my screen over so you can take a look at my ceiling. Howdy from Texas. Howdy. It's great to have you here and give you your first look at this gorgeous reef collection. It's so pretty. Okay, here we go. We've got two prints, as always, two each of two prints on our beautiful white cardstock. And uh, we have this underwater print. Isn't it just gorgeous? All the beautiful elements of the reef. And we got our uh, coral and our seahorse and a gorgeous jellyfish. We got some urchins here in the background, some fishies. It's just so beautiful. It's a lovely collage print. And I love that the art itself is some is white and some is darker than the base color that we've added. Jack Jacqueline did a brilliant job on this. And then we have this just cool wavy print. It's got the color plus some stripes with the white showing through and then the other shades in the kit, the darker teal and that gold weaving through just sort of wavy. But also what I like about it is just very, very neutral. And if you're wondering, these prints are available separately. So you can buy them one or two or 10 sheets at a time if you prefer. And same for the papers. Now, since this is a monthly collection, the plain papers are also available individually, which I know a lot of you have been asking for with our special release kits. That is just kind of a different situation for us. So we are unable to offer the individual sheets for those, but with our monthly kits, while supplies last, you can pick up two sheets of this stunning uh, teal color. And this has a felt finish. I'm gonna try and see if you can see that. I'm not sure if you can see it coming through, but oh, it's just scrumptious. And um, Terry Zwicker, uh, a gal who worked here at Club Scrap, always said smooth is a finish also. So we have this beautiful smooth gold. And then this is a, a yellow, shade of yellow that's brand new to you. Listen to that paper. It's just so gorgeous. It's a nice heavy stock. And if you like this shade, it's very, very neutral. It's a nice, it's not too bright. It's not too, 
too dull. It's just a gorgeous paper. And uh, that's a brand new color to us. And then we have this lovely seafoam, another new color. This one has that linen like texture. And again, I'm not sure if it's coming through on the camera, but mm, you're going to love it when you get your hands on it. This also is an 80 pound cover weight. So you will love those plain papers as much as the prints. And then next up to review is the sheets of cut aparts. So if you're unfamiliar with our cut aparts, these, these sheets help you finish your pages easily. Like if I'm not working with cut aparts and just paper, it's a little harder to finish the page. I have to come up with a journaling prompt, a title, some more decoration for it to jazz it up a little bit. So the cut aparts just solve all that. And these are available separately as well, which is really nice. And we've got some wonderful quotes here. And again, we try to keep it really broad. So even if, you know, even if you're not really scrapbooking an adventure of your snorkeling days, it's totally okay. Any kind of outdoorsy, vacation, beachy, fun, you know, you could have a bubble party in your backyard pool and still this will work great for it. Oh, it's so lovely. Okay, now goodies. Let's see. Oh, you were going to love. First, I'll show you. We also have our usual photo mats. Okay, so the three each of all those four of those glorious colors to help you make your paper go a lot further. And then we have a sheet of die cuts. These are really cool. And I want to give you some instructions right out of the right out of the box in case you're not going to watch the workshop video. Just make note and I'll go over this with you in the video workshop. But you need to just trim off the ends an eighth of an inch off of this side and a little eighth of an inch off of this side. And I'll walk you through that in the video. Once you make that cut, all of these will come apart into all individual pieces. You see that? It's just so clever. And then there are a couple of other there's like a circle some other little circles here you can pop out with more images and stuff and then this this little pops out and becomes like a file folder top it's really neat and these are also available separately too they really jazz up the pages uh ribbon oh we got some lovelies this is probably one of my favorites this style of ribbon it's a silk it's not satin and when you feel it you will feel the difference and a nice wide one at that it's so pretty in that sea foam color and then the next ribbon this one is is a gold but it also has the metallic and one of my favorite features of this particular style of ribbon is that while it looks glittery it doesn't put glitter all over everything you know what i'm saying i don't like that but i like this this is one of my favorite types of ribbon too like i mentioned this was one of my favorites and then two full yards of this nice thin grill grain it is thin enough that if you cut it at a really steep angle you can actually thread it onto a charm so it's narrow enough for that speaking of charms Oh, these are really sweet. We got this gorgeous Nautilus shell. It's huge. And then two sweet little jellyfish. Aren't those adorable? You can buy those as a set. And then this awesome fishtail. Look at him. Just real sparkly. It's made out of resin. It's really cool. And it does have a hanging hole in it too, but I think I just glued it onto my page with bookbinding glue, which does dry clear. So it's kind of nice. You'll see it on my finished page. It looks really cool. And then since we're talking about the sea, we do have a set of little miniature uh, seashell buttons. So they have the, um, the shell side and then the shiny side on the other. Really pretty. I, I actually like them in either direction. And you can um, stock up on these as well. I left, <laughs> tried to leave them in a bag so they wouldn't get misplaced. And I think the best way to attach these is honestly just with some of our bookbinding glue as well. I put the glue on the paper to attach the shell button. So again, if you're new or unfamiliar with Club Scrap, what you want to know is how do I use everything that comes in the box? And I provide you with some very detailed instructions. So these are printable. You can find them right on our website under resources, instructions. Go to our most recent kit and there they'll be. So it's pretty easy to find the instructions. And once you get there, you can either click on the link to the video or you can scan that code with your phone or your tablet camera. And then that'll take you directly to the video. I'm really trying to do this with as many of our collections as we can. So you don't have to worry about entering one of those horrible YouTube links. <laughs> okay, next up, we have the finished pages. So you can see what happens with this kit when you're done. If you follow the instructions, not to say that you have, of course, you can do anything you want with what we send. But right out of the gates, I did use um, that gorgeous whale tail here. My slot punch as always. And if you're new, I will show you once again. This is my favorite little guy. I use him all the time. And uh, we just got a new shipment of these in. So if you don't have this candy slot punch, it's super strong. Um, it cuts through even mat board and stuff to make little tags. Turn an ordinary sheet of paper into a tag. A double thickness of ribbon here at the bottom, you can see. And then I did one of my clever little cutting tricks where I took a craft knife and I just cut along the side 
of the jellyfish here and here so I could thread the tag or the border strip rather behind the fish and then I added one of the cut aparts to the top here. I love this page. It's very well balanced. And then here on the right, you see that uh, die cut at work. You can see that curve uh, here. And then we've got our circular image that I just cut with, um, I think it was a three and three quarter inch die. Let's take a look. If you've got the round dies, oh, four inches. A four inch die took care of that. Here's a fun little way to do ribbon. I think I got the idea from Julie, from one of her cards, but I tied on the thin ribbon onto the wider ribbon added our jellyfish here with some foam, ad oh, I'm sorry, foam adhesive, with some waxed linen, and then the buttons are added to the openings as well. So that's pages one and two, three and four. Again, the, the die cuts at work. I just love all the curved areas. It just really makes it pop. This one I cut out just with scissors. And then because I had two yards of that ribbon, I was able to do like a double wrap on this side and then a, another bow on this side for, to finish off the right side of page four. Oh, and then since we had that super wide silky ribbon, I just did some corner wraps. Another easy way, you know, simple. You just add tape on the back to hold them down. Here are two shell buttons along with that sweet little charm. Notice again, I was able to thread this ribbon onto the top of the charm. That's page, what is this? Five and six. So pretty. This is from the die cuts, popped up with foam adhesive. Seven. This gives you a little spot to maybe make a note of the date or location of your page. And then this curving die cut along the bottom here, a lovely finishing touch to that side. And then finally, page eight, I made use of the Nautilus charm here and then popped up that, that journaling prompt with foam adhesive. And then again, used my favorite little slot punch to turn him into a sweet little tag where I could use that ribbon. Okay, that is the Reef page kit. I hope you love it. I am so in love with it. And remember, if you are a member, you will also get that bonus page formula. Don't forget to download this like as soon as you get your email with all your member benefits. Um, you can print this or not. Just make sure you store it on your computer before you, you know, before it goes away. And um, you'll have specific instructions. So I know there are a lot of page sketches out there, but ours are different because they tell you exactly how to cut the paper to recreate what you see. And here's my little test run. I always have to test the uh, formula to make sure it works in real life. And I love this layout. One of, one of my favorite things is honestly, however you turn this, I think it's got some neat, neat potential, right? This side too, very, you know, could be just used in any direction, which comes in super handy if you happen to have too many of one uh, photo in one direction. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, again, I have to point out, I, I wasn't, I didn't use the cut aparts on this and I can see that the page needs, still needs something. So that's when it's not handy to have a couple of extra sheets of those cut aparts around so you can finish additional pages and, you know, continue to use the papers in your stash. Okie doke. Let's move on now to the card kit. So pretty. Mm, I didn't take care of wrapping these ribbons up neatly. Two yards of this, as you can see. So here we have a, a gold taffeta, and it's probably a three eighth inch maybe, and a quarter inch of the organza, two full yards of that. So you can use it real generously on your cards, which is nice. And then a yard of this beautiful seafoam green with the glitter. Again, the sparkliness, but that doesn't come off like a glitter would, all woven into that grill grain. Okay, let's look at the paper. You yeah, always like to see that print, this is the stunning card kit print. Oh, it's so beautiful. And you know, when Jacqueline first sent it over, I wasn't sure about it. And then I printed it. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. This is going to make fabulous cards. Then of course you have all the plain papers that I showcased in the page kit plus one sheet of white was needed. So I believe we're at 11 sheets of paper for this particular card kit set. And then all the lovely carefully mapped out, carefully planned cut aparts for you. I have some fun things I want to show you on the finished cards, but again, if you don't, if you like to make cards, but you're not a huge fan of having to drag out all of your stamps, this is, this is the answer. It's all done. I spent a lot of hours researching the perfect matches for sentiments for the outside and inside of the cards, mapping it all out so it fits perfectly. But you know, like if you want to use a different sentiment, just use the back. We provide that. A free bonus backside of the cut aparts is available for your stamping enjoyment. Um, other goodies here, we've got a set of four of these glittery, but not the kind that falls off, glittery shell appliques. And then we have a package of just these sweet little 
um, sequins, and they look sort of like the, the urchins that we have going on. It's just a colorful mix, really nice little finishing touch. And then we have these nifty shell laser cuts, and I'm going to show you what I did with these on the finished card. So let's take a look. Set A. I'm calling this the clam card. Okay, you ready? <laughs> it's so cute. It's like a little clam, little clam shell, and it's very, very easy to make, and it's got a little gusset in it that allows that sentiment to pop up when it's on display. And then you still have the inside of the card as well. So this one says, I was going to tell a joke about retired people, but none of them work. Congratulations on your retirement. <laughs> I have a few friends I can send this to now because it seems like everyone around me is retiring. Okay, then the next clam card. <laughs> it's just so cute. Um, what did the fish have to pay to get past the coral reef? A toll. Thinking of you on your special day. Very fun. And do you see those little sequins just added with glue? It's just a sweet little flat finishing touch. Got another one of those with some different use of the ribbon and then a floating by to say hello. So again, just a really neat structure. I can't wait to show you how to make it. And trust me, it's not complicated. I will step it out for you in the workshop video. Then there's this technique, and I've sort of been using this in an indirect way for a long, long time. It's the cut, stack, and, or stack, cut, and shuffle technique. Very popular technique. Um, and what's neat about this, my friends, if you're not into doing this technique, you don't have to. You just don't do the stack, cut, and shuffle part of the workshop. Just skip it, and I will address that in the video. And otherwise, you can just put the whole panel on the card without cutting it first. But I like this look. It's really, really cool. And again, it gives me a great place to add the shell and some of those cute little sequins, some really nice sentiments, and of course, the inside and outside of your cards will be fully decorated. You are amazing. I'll always remember your kindness. Thank you. And, you know, here's a situation, too. I was talking to my girlfriend last night who is enjoying the card kits for the very first time, and she, she said she took my advice and just sometimes doesn't install the sentiment on the inside because when you have a you are amazing, you could leave this off and say congratulations or happy birthday or whatever you want it to be. So maybe put the inner sentiment in there so it's ready to go, but it can really serve any purpose. Uh, life is better in flip-flops. That too could suffice for almost anything. Okay, set C. Now you'll make a total of 12 cards and remember all the envelopes, which I didn't show you, are included in the kit as well. All you need is love. Now here, remember I showed you those cool shell things. So I took scissors and I just cut on the three of these off, just three of them, one, two, three shells. And then I could use them on this card. Isn't that beautiful with those little sequins in there? And then the fourth one, the fourth shell, I left the square on it and could just adhere it, sandwich it between the card base and the sentiment. Isn't that pretty? So again, for those, I included a, sin a sincere sympathy card as well. Very lovely. Uh, two of those. And again, you know, st shuffling all the colors makes for a beautiful card. This one is for a friend. Such a simple word for one of the great, one of the great necessities of life. That's how I feel about all of you. Okay, so that is the stunning card kit. I hope you love it. And again, if you're just a, sub a subscriber of the page kit, that's okay. You can still add this as a one-time purchase uh, with your shipment this time, or you can subscribe too. Totally up to you. Then we have our stunning stamps. So pretty. Um, my number one request was having these three flavors of the seaweed that kind of comes up from the bottom. I love the different corals, the urchins, and then the solid fish, a couple of shells, and then the stones, along with some really nice sentiments. Now remember, just because this one doesn't have, might not have a, a specific sentiment you're looking for, you may have a stash of other sentiments. Just feel free to mix and match, match sentiments as you wish. And then of course we have our pops. This is otherwise known as the pack of panels. We've got a nice hefty stack of the, all four colors. And yes, again, they are different sizes. So just be mindful of that. These are great for your die cutting machines or embossing or layering, that kind of thing. And even maybe extending the, the life of your kit as well. Okay. What did Julie make with those stamps and pops? She made some gorgeous cards. See how the stones work? I love that. I bet she stamped that in sandstone. Mm -mm 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 -mm. She made a beautiful background with all of the seaweeds. Just a very simple background here with a lot of tone on tone stamping. And Julie, oh, I think this was the inspiration for what I did with the ribbon. So thanks, Julie. She kind of distressed the ribbon a little bit. I think that's really sweet. And then she used the solid shells here. 
some embossing just kind of sets it off. Very simple, just two uh, ink colors and the sentiments and images. True beauty lies beneath the surface. And she's got the fish above. I love that. Oh, and some fun shapes can be created with repetition stamping too. I know Julie's going to cover all this in her blog, so make sure you're subscribed to our blog so you don't miss anything. Phew, that was a lot of words. <laughs> now it's time to tell you what else we have coming up this month. So stay with me. Stay with me. Oh, and I want to show you again the instructions, of course, because this is hours and hours of my time. Um, those carefully mapped out papers that you'll trim, the cut aparts. I'll walk you through all that step by step. Um, a nice little illustration for what you'll be doing with these clam clamshell cards. I mean, I cover it. I will go over that with you in detail in the video. So don't worry. Even if you are a beginner, my friend is a beginner and she is just rocking it. And she loves the videos and rewinds them and watches them as many times as needed. And she really gets the hang of it. So don't be discouraged if you're new. This is a project we're doing called the Podium Book 2.0. Not very impressive in the bag, but it does include the instructions and we're featuring the Rainforest Kit with this project and you are going to love this. Now you may remember our Podium Book 1.0. Um, the binding was a little bit unique and it was like a wired binding, but this book uses my famous U-Hinge binding. So it's very, very easy. And I'm so looking forward to teaching this on April 27 at the one of a kind Facebook page. That's where it's gonna start, okay? So you see it has the easel here and the easel lays flat so you can put this book on a shelf, okay? But it has a ribbon extender, so it allows me to display the book, okay? So it, can, it sits like this on the tabletop and I think the book is so stunning in this collection, but I want to point out, you can swap out any club scrap kit to make this book, which is super cool. Maybe you would wanna see it in Reef. You know, that would be really pretty. So you can buy the components for this book. The, the book board covers all trimmed up for you. And, you know, all of the information will translate just fine. But check this out. It's so pretty. So we have these halvesy pages. The way we're, we're utilizing a 12-inch uh, situation here to make a flap that can be decorated. And then you, you have the advantage of the U-hinge binding that then allows you to be very, very dimensional. So you can put anything up to a quarter of an inch thick on top of this page. You can even put more fold outs, more pops, more whatever you want. Maybe grab an extra set of pops so that you can have even more mats. Like I just used everything that came in the kit without adding anything. And this is what I ended up with. Even that cool burlap bag that came in there, very dimensional, no problem. We got room for it, room for everything, plus all your photos and memories. Beautiful, a beautiful handmade book that anyone would be overjoyed to receive. So I hope you like this guy. Again, now if you get this this package before the video airs, you will get another notification from us in your email with the video because the video for this isn't available yet, so I can't put it on the instructions. You know what I'm saying? It will go live on the 27th, and then the video will, you'll be notified of that after. So watch your email. Don't don't just put those in your trash can. <laughs> Okay, whoo, that's a lot of stuff. And I have one other, oh yes, Catherine, the components will be available of that Podium Book. In fact, they're available right now. So it's just look up Podium Book components and I think it'll pop up for you in a search. And I'm sure Karen's got you covered with links. So go back and scroll through if you need to, to look for the links for those things. Yes, Karen's got the info, April 27 on the one of a kind rubber stamp and scrapbook virtual event. That's a mouthful. And um, again, that, day doesn't have to be the day you do it okay you can watch it that day maybe ask questions as you're watching in fact i recommend that like it's really helpful especially if you've never made a book that's wrapped like this with a wrapped spine it would help so much if you just watched it once and then go back and make the book but i know a lot of you are really proficient at this so i'm not worried um yes and then after the 27th the video will be indefinitely available for you so you don't have if you're busy that day don't let that stop you, okay? Now, one other important thing, this is a message from my team that they really want you to listen to, okay? This is really important. If you are a member and you want something shipped with your kit, the drop down at shipping checkout, you have to click the down arrow on the drop down to choose with kit shipping. Now, why is that? It's a change that we did not make. Someone made that change, it wasn't us. And the people who made the change says they, they say they can't unchange it. It's really annoying. 
So we've tried, uh, believe me, we, we wanted it to de default to that with kit shipping so you wouldn't have to do anything. Uh, but what's happening is if you're not choosing with kit shipping, our team here in production is like, oh, they want it ASAP and they send it and you're paying uh, the flat rate for with kit shipping or, you know, flat rate for your, for your shipment. We don't want that to happen if you don't want that to happen. You know what I'm saying? So remember when you're checking out, especially now, if you're ordering stuff that you just saw that you want more of and you want it shipped with your next kit and you don't want it shipped like today, <laughs> choose the down arrow at checkout and then select with kit shipping. I hope I have that right because that they were like, yeah, make sure they do that. It's really important. So it doesn't mess things up. One other thing I want to mention is that if you shop all month long, let's say you place 10 orders throughout the month and you want them all shipped with your kit that's absolutely fine with us i mean we're happy to pull that order and we package it and put it in the bin you know alphabetically so we have that for you and we're more than happy to do that but every order you place creates tasks for a very small team and um, we try to combine all those orders and we try to you know make it all make sense and it's a very manual thing and that is why there's a handling fee on those ship with kit orders for the most part. So, um, you know, if you are email and say, hey, can you combine those seven orders for me? It's not making the work for us any less, you know what I'm saying? So um, yes, that, that with kit shipping uh, rate applies to every order you place. Just wanted to clarify that and I hope you understand. Um, it really is a manual, uh, high time, high task, okay? So that's just why we have that and, and it um, makes, makes everything work a little bit better for us back there. So I think that's, uh, yeah, don't you just cringe at computer? Yes. And I don't even know what kind of gremlin this is. This is a gremlin that does not like us. I mean, and I think they do these things thinking they're helping. I don't know. But yeah, there was nothing we could do about that weird default. So that's not the way we wanted it. <laughs> but there's nothing we could do. Trust me, Kristen has tried so hard. Anyway, it's always, there's always something, right? Keeps life interesting. Well, gosh, I am so happy you all came to this little spoiler video, and I hope that you love the Reef Collection as much as we all do here. And May is coming along beautifully as well, so I hope you'll come back. I may have a few lives mid-month again to show, show some things we're working on around here mid-month. I'll see you on the 27th um, for that Podium Book 2.0 workshop, and then soon after that, it'll be time to spoil the May kit. Time flies. I hope you have a wonderful uh, rest of your month, a joyous Easter, and I look forward